Hey guys, Caleb Nance here from CalebNance.com. I uh, just wanted to do a, another tutorial. Um, this one's going to be just how to set up modules, uh, enable them, and disable them. Um, right now is the front end of the site that you're going to be putting a module on. Uh, we'll go to the back end right here, which is forward slash after your dot com administrator. Uh, right here we'll, we see uh, all the modules, the module manager and to get to that you go to extensions and then module manager um, we're going to start in a new one right here up at the top right click that and this is a list of all the modules that you have installed to your site uh, we're just going to do a custom HTML right here and title is going to be test and the title shows up right here that's the title of the module and you can have that show or not show if you'd like uh, this right here uh, enabled if you want enabled to the site so people can see you would have yes clicked uh, position um, every template of your site has positions and uh, the template that is put onto your site uh, it pulls from that and has all these positions um, left of course is on the left which all these are right here so we'll keep it there um, order is basically the order of when it'll show up um, right now it'll be at the bottom because it's new uh, but you can go back in the back in there once we save it and select the order of where you want it to show up if you want it to show up above mobile menu then you can have that uh, set um, access level um, public means everyone that comes to your site can see it if you click registered then uh, only the people that are logged into your site can see this module. Uh, then we'll go down here, uh, just put some uh, data in, just whatever. And then you can also put an image in there, and I'll show you how to do that. If you want to upload an image um, from your desktop or laptop, you can just hit browse right here, select the image, and then hit start upload. Once that is uploaded, it'll be found in this list you can select that image and then hit insert All right, and then we'll hit apply right here and I hit apply because I like to it, it says it's saved, item saved and it does the same thing as the save button except it keeps you on this page that way if something doesn't look right on the front end it saves a little time to where you can just edit it now and then hit apply again so we'll go here see if it looks good yes it looks good there it's on the front page um, so then we'll hit save and basically nothing changed it saved it again but brings you back to the whole um, list of all the modules and let's say I wanted to uh, just disable it right there I can hover over the check mark and as you see it says disable module or enable module so now I disabled that test module so it should disappear and it did and that's really how easy it is to put a module on or off your site um, as you see this right here this mobile module uh, it's actually a module I just made um, for uh, the Blackberry um, iPhone or Droid uh, templates because you don't have a lot of room on those um, on those screens so it helps uh, take down a lot of your space um, for those mobile templates and kind of inserting it right there you can download it on calebnance.com it should be under downloads um, I'm up to 1.0.2 which is a pretty good version uh, took a lot of uh, bugs out and it's a really easy module um, you can go in and look at the code but uh, it works really well um, so yeah that was my little insert um, hope you learned a lot and expect more from uh, Caleb Ken Hemp 22. All right. Hope you all have a great day.